channel if you love cinema and movies this is your channel so don't go anywhere subscribe me and be with me in this way hi guys thanks to be with me don't forget to subscribe i want to talk about this tangent movie did you see the dream scenario the movie has a strange and special theme and introduces an interesting character the twist the comedy drama distributed by a24 and co-produced by ari aster nicholas cage inexplicably invades everyone's dreams as the unassuming evolutionary biology professor paul matthews who embarrasses too easily a sudden and unearned fame i think christopher Burgley delivers a hilarious and inventive setup that promises unique insights into cancel culture the distractive pursuit of fame and the uh, reshaping of art into products of corporate interest but yeah, the no, whole it's, concept it's vision falters in this. the second We're not even act the, type of people. the first half of the film is brightly executed and cage is the perfect paul matthews that's owing partly to the stellar work done by the costume and makeup departments to make him the uh unobtrusive figure he is in the movie i think he's so weird don't you think that but the actor is also in top form here blending at uh, appropriate moments and for comedy's sake his uh, characteristic exaggerated style with the overall blindness of this every man character oh, he's dropped I mean, enough that, that Janet, she's we know cool he doesn't deserve oh, his oh, wife oh, janet oh, but just safe and uh, familiar enough for us to understand why she stays with him and while his uh cringeworthy mannerisms will never have his two daughters looking up to him he's still a presence they value in their lives despite the fact that he never really does anything not even in his daughter's dreams even in people's dreams he doesn't do anything and yet he really embarrasses the fame that his passive involvement trusts upon him paul is forced to reckon with his own mediocrity in countless awake word scenarios his ill equipped to navigate but narcissistically powers through that's when Berkeley's film is best when it focuses on the minute details of an ex uh, ex exceptional people's egos the film is less powerful however when grappling with larger social issues dream scenarios um, brings up so many questions such as why do we seek fame and yet make the worst use of it why do we need to take down a notch those with fame and yet crave it to be in their very position why do we think we can control how people perceive us Berkeley considers all these absurd facts of humanity but doesn't delve into them uh, there is even a whole subplot within paul's daughter's nightmares about him uh, turn freakish that could have explored more questions of perception on an intimate familial level but it's mm, dropped completely i think and i think it's so bad it can be better and matthew's role as a father is underplayed as a whole the film experiences a jarring tonal shift as it takes itself uh, from cringe comedy comedy to cringe horror but at the end i think cage's character is unique and burgley writes him thoughtfully 
Is he a pathetic object of contempt or an innocent bystander? We have to truly wrestle with how we feel about Paul Matthews. I have it too much. And uh, he didn't do anything to deserve the hatred dreamers lobby at him. But is he undeserving? Maybe cancel culture, Borgley is saying, can be hostly and vile and uh, yet good for something, as it can often reveal the true hearts of its targets. What do you think about it? Do you like Paul Matthew or you hate it? Please tell me and don't forget, subscribe me to be with me. Thank you. Thank you.